And we're back. So you yes. probably, hopefully, have seen his review, and you probably maybe have seen mine. But yeah, basically, we're just gonna discuss a little bit about this. Uh, yes. Chong Ying Street number, number one. one. Chong Ying Street. I yes. always forget where number one goes. Yes, that's okay. It, it, well, it's in in the languages. It's the opposite end. Yeah, that's true. But, so, uh, so yeah. So I can go first as okay. a non-local person and not knowing the history of anything. Um, I was like intrigued. Like it's like I think I think stuff like this. It's like if you don't know the actual context, you don't know the background, but it still engages you. That's good stuff. Yes. And, and this one really engaged me. I really liked uh, Fish. Yes, Fish Lou. Yeah. She was really great. I like how they played uh, three different um, characters. Um, and just the pacing was really good. I think the biggest thing that stood out for me was, I was like, well, this movie feels really long. So I checked my yeah. checked the time, and I was like, there's still half an hour left? Yeah. And it was a good thing, in the, ten in the sense where it's like, there was so much packed into it, right? And you feel it's long, but it's like not like, oh, I need to just need this to be over. Yeah, it feels full. Yeah, I would say, yeah, because that was the thing for me in my review. Like I said, the film is deliberate, which is a po which is a word meaning slow, but in a positive sense. Oh, yeah. And it does. It takes its time to tell the story. It allows you to get to know people, and that's one of the things I really liked about it was that it's like like I said in my review, it, it reminds me of an Anne Hoy film. You know, it, it's just whatever that is. <laughs> See what I live with? So, um, but it's, yeah, it definitely does a good job illustrating things. Um, if you know more about the things that have been going on in Hong Kong recently, or if you know about the riots in 1967, it certainly adds a lot. But, you know, if nothing else, hopefully the film will inspire people to look into it. Yeah, I think that's the, that's the great stuff about these historic genres where it's like you might not have heard of it but you see the movie and granted we're not supposed to believe everything 100% it's yeah. so like you look into it yourself I mean um, so yeah I really did enjoy it in the sense where I didn't know the content but it, it captured me because I watched Death of Stalin oh yeah oh, that's and, a great film and I know like the general gist but I think I missed a lot because I didn't know the actual uh, logistics yeah. yeah you gotta know that stuff yeah because that's like Jason super... Isaac stole that movie yeah he was the general general yeah yeah um, yeah I mean I think I was talking to my like family about this. I was like, I feel like everyone in Hong Kong needs to watch this because yeah. it really addresses the whole generational yeah. gap and yes. just like. Uh, and, and one of the things I like is that this movie has angered people on both sides of the political oh yeah, divide. Yeah. It really doesn't treat anybody gently. It impugns both sides. Everybody comes in for criticism. So to me, it's a really good movie because it's thought provoking and hopefully will encourage discussion or learning. Yeah, definitely. And, and I think also, like everyone, like you were saying, is a bad guy, but you sort of see why they are the way they are. Yeah. Like the British are like, well, they're just sick of all these people. That's why they're treating them so poorly. Right. But at the same time, you can say, like, oh, they're just, you know, British slaves or whatever. But at the same right. time, you like, you look at what they're dealing with every day in and out. You're like, yeah, why would they have more patience with, like, oh, a Hong Kong or saying, like, no, I'm, I'm innocent. Yeah, exactly. Just, and my favorite character was the guy that sneaks into Hong Kong from mainland China in the midst of the Cultural Revolution right. and finds himself taken in by some guy who has like pictures of Mao Zedong. He's like, what are you doing? And he stays. I don't understand that. Well, yeah, it was still better than, because if you got caught going back, yeah, that was not good. So, yeah. And I think the crazy part was like, I just came back from Sunzhong yesterday. So right. I crossed that. Is it the same river? Well, yeah. So it was not the same of, place. Yeah, but, yeah. but it was kind of like surreal. I'm like, wow. This yeah. is sort of how it would technically feel like. Yes. And, and the movie, I thought, did a good job because if you look historically at Chung, Chungying Street is where the border is. It's in the Northeast New Territories. You can't go in just like in the movie. Yeah. And at one point, it literally was just a street. But after like the Great Leap Forward, the Cultural Revolution, they had to, out of necessity, start to kind of, not, I wouldn't say fortify the border, but make it more distinct and, you know, put some fences up. So yeah, definitely, I think international audience really needs to check it out. Oh yeah. Just to get the sense of like... Well, just like, like I said in my review, he submitted it to the Hong Kong Film Festival and they said it didn't fit the program, so he sent it to Osaka, where it won the grand prize. And it's gonna. I'm sure it'll get a lot of attention internationally, which is good. But it, like I said, I wish it would got it would get more here. I know because it's like it's like hello, people. This is your history. Like, mm -hmm. So so yeah. So definitely check it out yep. online yes. when it's when it's online. Yes. Try to look for it and then read it. about it. Read about it. Yeah. Just inform yourself and just like it, it. It expands beyond just like Hong Kong history, but rather you know yeah. all the political realms of like activists and riots and all that stuff. So I mean the world's getting crazy and it's like. 
Definitely. It's a good lesson here and yes. one to remind yourself. Anyway, that's it. Short talk about this uh, Chongying Street. Number, Number one. one. <laughs> Later. See you.